Have you ever wondered what secrets lie buried beneath the sands of Egypt? For centuries, the allure of ancient Egyptian history has captivated explorers and archaeologists alike. With each new discovery, we uncover a little more about the world of pharaohs, gods, and monumental achievements. Today on Historical Highway, we're diving into five of the most incredible and significant discoveries that have shaped our understanding of ancient Egypt. From hidden tombs to mysterious cities, these findings offer us a glimpse into a civilization that continues to inspire awe and wonder. Let's start our journey with one of the most breathtaking tombs ever unearthed in the Valley of the Kings. 1. The Tomb of Seti In the Valley of the Kings, one of the most impressive discoveries ever made is the Tomb of Seti Y. Seti Y, the father of the famous pharaoh Ramses II, ruled during Egypt's 19th dynasty, around 1290 to 1279 BCE. His reign was marked by significant military campaigns and architectural achievements, and his tomb reflects the grandeur of his era. The tomb was discovered in 1817 by Italian explorer Giovanni Battista Belzoni, a pioneering archaeologist of the time. The tomb of Seti I, designated KF-17, is one of the largest and most intricately decorated tombs in the Valley of the Kings stretching over 100 meters. Its corridors and chambers are filled with vibrant, well-preserved paintings, including scenes from the Book of the Dead, a guide to the afterlife. Even after more than 3,000 years, the quality of the artwork is astonishing. The vivid colors and detailed carvings portray Seti Warren's journey into the afterlife, with one of the most iconic images showing him standing before Osiris, the god of the underworld. This remarkable tomb isn't just a burial site, it's a masterpiece of ancient Egyptian art and religious belief, showcasing the spiritual significance and artistic achievements of the time. 2. Akhenaten's Lost City at Amarna Moving from the tombs of Thebes, we head to a remarkable discovery that changed the course of Egyptian history. Akhenaten's capital city, Amarna. Akhenaten, a pharaoh of the 18th dynasty, ruled from around 1353 to 1336 BCE and is known for his radical religious reforms. He abandoned the traditional polytheistic beliefs of ancient Egypt, declaring Aten, the sun disk, as the one true god. To support his religious revolution, he founded a brand new capital, Akhetaten, which we now call Amarna. The city of Amarna was rediscovered in the late 19th century, with extensive excavations beginning in the early 20th century particularly led by British archaeologist Sir Flinders Petrie in 1891. This discovery revealed the grand vision Akhenaten had for Egypt. The site, located on the east bank of the Nile River, halfway between Cairo and Luxor, unveiled large palaces, temples dedicated to Aten, and homes of the elite, all intricately decorated. One of the most fascinating aspects of Amarna is its unique art style. Unlike the formal, idealized depictions of pharaohs in other periods, the art of Akhenaten's reign is more naturalistic, with statues and reliefs showing the pharaoh and his family in affectionate, intimate scenes, an unprecedented shift in Egyptian art. Although Akhenaten's religious revolution was short-lived and the city was abandoned soon after his death, the discovery of Amarna offers an extraordinary glimpse into this bold and controversial chapter of Egyptian history, more than 3,300 years old. The Mummy of Queen Nefertari When it comes to the queens of ancient Egypt, one of the most iconic figures is Nefertari, the beloved wife of Ramses II. Renowned for her beauty and influence during her husband's reign, Nefertari was given a grand tomb in the Valley of the Queens. This tomb, known as QV66, is considered one of the finest examples of ancient Egyptian art and craftsmanship. Discovered in 1904, by Italian archaeologist Ernesto Schiaparelli. Nefertari's tomb is a true masterpiece. Located on the west bank of the Nile near Luxor, the tomb's walls are covered with vibrant and detailed murals that depict Nefertari's journey into the afterlife. These murals show her being guided by gods and goddesses, with scenes from the Book of the Dead illustrating her path to eternal life. The colors remain incredibly vibrant, even more than 3,200 years after the tomb was sealed, leading some to refer to it as the Sistine Chapel of ancient Egypt. For many years, 
the location of Nefertari's mummy was a mystery. However, in 1904, fragments of a mummy, along with exquisite burial artifacts, were found within the tomb. These remains are now believed to belong to Nefertari herself, offering a rare glimpse into the final resting place of one of Egypt's most powerful and revered queens. This discovery, over a century old, continues to captivate historians and archaeologists alike. The Tomb of KV-5 Our next discovery brings us back to the Valley of the Kings, to a tomb that stands out for its sheer scale and significance, KV-5. This enormous tomb was rediscovered in 1995 by archaeologist Dr. Kent Weeks during his work with the Theban Mapping Project. KV-5 is believed to be the final resting place of the sons of Ramses II, one of Egypt's most powerful pharaohs. What makes KV-5 extraordinary is its size. With over 120 chambers, it is the largest tomb ever uncovered in the Valley of the Kings. The tomb was originally built to house several of Ramses II's sons, reflecting the size and importance of his royal family. The layout is complex, with winding corridors and multiple rooms that indicate it was expanded several times over the years, likely to accommodate more burials as needed. Although much of KV-5 was damaged by floods over the centuries, the artifacts and remains found within provide crucial insights into ancient Egyptian royal burial practices. Among the most significant finds was a large statue of Ramses II, suggesting that the tomb may have held symbolic importance for the pharaoh himself. KV-5, which dates back over 3,200 years, remains a site of ongoing study and its rediscovery has been hailed as one of the most important archaeological finds of the 20th century. It continues to reveal secrets about Egypt's royal families and their intricate burial customs. 5. The Temple of Luxor Finally, we arrive at the majestic Temple of Luxor, one of the most iconic monuments in Egypt. Located on the east bank of the Nile River in the modern city of Luxor, the temple was primarily constructed by Pharaoh Amenhotep III, during the 14th century BCE, around 1380 BCE, and later expanded by Ramses II in the 13th century BCE. This magnificent structure has stood the test of time for over 3,300 years and continues to be a stunning example of ancient Egyptian architecture and religious life. Unlike its nearby counterpart, the Temple of Karnak, which was dedicated to the gods, the Temple of Luxor was devoted to the concept of kingship and the renewal of the pharaoh's divine rule. The temple played a central role in the Opet festival, an annual event during which the statue of the god Amun was carried in a grand procession from Karnak to Luxor, symbolizing the rejuvenation of the pharaoh's power. One of the temple's most remarkable features is its grand colonnade, lined with massive columns and the impressive Avenue of Sphinxes, a nearly two-mile-long road flanked by Sphinx statues that originally connected the temples of Luxor and Karnak. The avenue is currently undergoing restoration, and its reopening will soon allow visitors to experience the journey between these two ancient temples, just as it was in antiquity. The Temple of Luxor remains one of Egypt's most visited and admired sites, a living testament to the architectural skill and cultural significance of the pharaohs who built it. Its grandeur and historical importance continue to attract millions of visitors each year offering a glimpse into the religious and royal ceremonies of ancient Egypt. Thank you for joining us today on Historical Highway as we explored these incredible discoveries that have shaped our understanding of ancient Egypt. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more fascinating history content. Stay curious and we'll see you next time on Historical Highway.